Answer, answer, Jones. <coughs> Are you there? Jones, I'm calling you. I'm not going I'm not going to call you again if you don't answer now. Like you called me a thousand times and I told you not now because I was in the other channel and now I'm calling you are not answering. CP. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, uh, you know me. Uh, my name is uh, uh, Einstein. <laughs> no, sorry. The people call me Einstein of Islam, as you know. All right. So. Uh, and why they call you that? Sorry. Uh, wait a minute. Poor connection. Hmm. So. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, uh, Non-Muslims uh, incorrectly believe that uh, Islam claims that the sun sets in a, a murky water. This is not true. So, if you see the translation in a Sahih International, it says, "If it is, if if it is, if it is uh, sit, sitting in a muddy spring." So, hmm. but does it say? Does it say what? as? Does it say as if it is, or it says doesn't say that in Arabic? The, the word wajada means uh, uh, appears. It appeared to Zulkarnan. Wajada mean appear or mean found? No, 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 no. Wajada mean to mm. appear. Okay, who is the one who told you this Arabic? You speak Arabic? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, can you show me in dictionary where it says that the word wajada mean appear? It appeared to be? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you visit... Uh, Wikishnary, Wikishnary.com. Okay, hold on. I'm going. Here. I'm going to open. I'm going to open an Islamic dictionary. I will put it for you in the screen, and you tell me how this has happened. And by the okay. way, and by the way, we can search for the same word in the Quran, and we will see what the same word as it translated all over the Quran because the word agree uh, uh, appear in the Quran many places. So, what do you think about that? Good choice. Because if the word wajada yeah, yeah, yeah. mean appear, that's mean all the translation of the Quran is going to be appear. All right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, here we go. I'm going to put the dictionary for you, and this is your Islamic dictionary. This is the word wajada. The, okay. the first one. Okay. It says, detect, discover, find out, spot. Where is the word appear? And this is your Islamic dictionary, Al Ma'ani. I will post the link in the, in the chat so people can see and you can open it yourself and you can type the word by yourself. You can just copy it from the Quran as it is and, you know, uh, see the meaning. So whoever said that to you is a liar. No, no, no. Zakir Naik can't lie. Ah, Zakir Naik can't lie. Well, here we go, this dictionary. And here we go, you see, it says, Wajada. Uh, Athara Allah came across, came upon, find, happen, hit upon, light upon, meet with, etc. So like there's more, you know, this is all is, uh, 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 he, you know, he found. So found, it can be uh, about an idea. It can be found about, it, it depends on what is the word after. So if I'm talking about an object, it's obviously I found an object. If I'm talking about love, I found love because this is something it can be found too. Uh, I found mercy. So the, the word after wajada will decide I am talking about what? About an object or about uh, something, uh, uh, maybe emotion, uh, mercy, and kindness. So the word wajada means I found. And the word after it is going to decide I found what? So he's talking about he found the sun and the sun is not emotional. Is not he's talking about the sunset and you know hold on 
Do you think your prophet he knew what the Quran saying, or your prophet is uh, ignorant? Yeah, I definitely know. You will say now uh, in Sunan Abu Dawood, mm. uh, you will quote a hadith uh, that the prophet uh, says that uh, sun sets in a muddy spring. But if you see the the chain of narration, mm. uh, the person named Tariq, uh, something is that I just forget it, but. Uh, mm. uh, uh, those hadiths uh, which are uh, narrated from him is weak. And uh, also okay, here we go. He it says fabricated. it says sahih in chain. Read it. So the narration is is good and it is sahih. So the one who told you it's weak, he's a fraud. This is your Islamic website. It says sahih in chain. Nothing wrong with it. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm. Do you see it in the screen? I'm showing you in the screen. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So why they say it's a it is a, it is a lie when it is sahih in chain because they are liars trying to cover up for their prophet for what he said. So I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. You see, do you know a guy? His name is Fifi. But but God knows. Hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on. There's a guy. There's a guy. His name is Fifi. <laughs> And he, he made a video to, to, to get a, uh, to get an apostate prophet busted and he said that he don't agree with this hadith but he agree about other hadith and I will show it to you but look how, how I will show you how stupid this guy is how he got your prophet busted he said that he agree with this hadith which hadith this one you can go and watch his video and die laughing all right he said, this is the hadith he agreed with. Okay, what the hadith is saying? Once I was with the Prophet, and this is Sahih Bukhari, they can't say it's weak, and he agreed with it already in the video. I was with the Prophet in the mosque, in the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, O oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best, because Muslims are mushrikeen. They associate the knowledge of Allah with the knowledge of a man. His name is Muhammad. He said, it goes and prostrate underneath Allah's throne. Now, is that scientifically true or scientifically stupid? Yeah, this is so embarrassing, but it doesn't. It doesn't just. Uh, I think he just says it for something. Yeah, but uh, what he said another it, misconception. You know, that no, 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 hold no, on. No, no, what 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 you, you have a lot of mis you have a lot of misconceptions about Islam. Okay, give me give me the answer you about this now. Don't don't change the topic. You, you, does, yeah, yeah. does the sun uh, does, does, that, does uh, the sun goes anywhere? Uh, he have a question from you that uh, 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 you Christians uh, incorrectly believe that uh, you will go to uh, hell according to Islam, but no, Christians and Jews will go to uh, heaven, as you know. <laughs> My friend, why, why you are changing topic? Uh, forget about hell and heaven now. What kind of a prophet and what kind of God? And this is Quran, chapter 36, verse number 38. He said, and the sun run into a fixed course. And Muhammad explaining what Allah mean, that the sun every day go and sleep under the throne of Allah. How this is going to be God is talking. And the guy whose name is Fifi, he agree with this hadith. He said, this is the correct hadith. I agree with that. But he just got Muhammad busted because the sun doesn't go anywhere in the sunset. The sun is there. Yeah, be, yeah you, you have to watch Zakir Naik. He is the best debater. Mm. We believe in him. Mm. And what Zakir Naik is saying? <laughs> about this? Yeah, he says, mm. you look, all the translations and all, uh, all uh, the meaning of uh, these uh, verses are, you quoted from uh, 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 websites. And you know, uh, Websites, uh, most of the people uh, used to uh, uh, criticize Islam or uh, hey, hey, Islam of listen, listen. simple word. Don't, don't, don't make me hang so up. They, don't make me hang up on you. They, you are they, talking they, about they, things. I have no idea what this topic you are talking about. What website? I do not need website. I am the website. I am the one who is teaching you. And you are telling me, quoting from website. People, website, they learn from me. I, I'm asking you. How Zakir Naik explained to you how the sun set? Go and give me the answer. Don't tell me you are quoting from webs what website. Me, I need website. I use website because I'm in the internet to show you so you can read it. 
what website this is your Islamic website I'm not quoting from anyone do you see me opening a channel talking about Muhammad here we go everything you say I just get you the quotation immediately so now what kind of a prophet he says such a stupid thing yeah it's no, you, you're correct I I appreciate your work but uh, if you watch a uh, merciful servant video he says that uh, Quran status that uh, uh, Sun has uh, a fixed orbit <laughs> here we go this is the first chapter 36 verse number 38 <laughs> your prophet explained the verse this guy is an idiot your prophet get him they are kids those are kids don't watch their videos those are a bunch of kids this is why they don't dare to call me what merciless servant and beseech yourself well, here we go I'm here why they don't care and show me what you're talking about I mean what they will lose they will lose their virginity but they are scared terrified so this is your prophet who is who is the one we should listen to a guy who came himself Mimi or your prophet For sure, Mimi. I think Muhammad Hijab. Mimi. Muhammad Hijab is the answer. I'm not sure, yeah, absolutely. Muhammad Hijab, he knew more than the Prophet because he is selling drugs and he's <laughs> selling things in his car by oh, this. Astaghfirullah. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> but we show them what Muhammad said. They say, say to me, the guy in his video, he said. <laughs> so, all this school, you know, you are calling me for this. I mean, uh, I mean, isn't it obvious for you? This is stupid. Come on, man. Yeah, I accepted it that, uh, yes, Islam says the sun sets in a murky water. Okay, so now what we, what, it's, what it's, we will do, it's just stupid, and it's true. This is what Muhammad believed, this is what Islam teach, and all, all evidence but, lead to one direction, that Muhammad is a fraud and Allah does not exist. No, 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 astaghfirullah. No, hmm. no, we can't blame our prophet for anything. I think uh, this is the statement of the past times, I think the sun really sets in a murky water. Okay. At that time, uh, Muhammad now. Ah, <laughs> at that time, the sun set in murky water. At, at that time. <laughs> and then the, the, then the sun bought a house in a different place and moved out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. All right. Anything else, my friend? <laughs> Look, I'm not going to leave Islam. I'm not going to leave Islam. Islam is my you are out of Islam. You are out, you are out of Islam already. You are making look, you are laughing at your prophet and you are telling me I'm not leaving Islam. You just say this is not true. You just say this is wrong. You just, just this is embarrassing. And now you are saying to me I'm not leaving. You left Islam. Aren't you the one who just said two no, minutes no. ago this is embarrassing? Look, I said to you that uh, at that time I the. Uh, the sun will set in the murky water. Ah, at that time, yeah. What, and what, hap what do you think? What happened? The sun, like somebody, she did not pay the rent, so they kick her out of the uh, of the water, and now she is not sitting in the so water no was, more. That hmm? was Zul Zulqarnain times. It was not. Uh, hmm. And where, is, <laughs> where, where was that is water? You know, okay, where was that water where the sun set at that time? SCP look uh, our prophet don't tell me his AP look I'm asking you a question my friend. where 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 the sun the fitness, bro. no 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 where is the sun set at that time which where is the water located do you have an idea uh, <laughs> Allah knows better where the sun was sitting in it says which ocean what ocean it says a spring do you know how to read it says a spring of a muddy hot water okay it's a, so it's a tiny little yeah, tiny yeah. spring when you say spring it's mean it's something tiny it cannot be even a river this is what spring mean so it's not an ocean they lie to us they say he so it's an ocean uh, even in the Quran it says it says a spring of water how that can be an ocean since when the ocean is a spring of water ah uh, let me tell you I will help you you will tell me now at that time the ocean was so small he was a spring of water and by time get bigger I'm helping you now and if we call yeah, Zach and right. if we call Zach and Nick, he will say a brother and first of all it was 40 years and this is the reason we have to agree with it. Zach and Mike, we are not talking about Moses and Adam now. Just let me, please, 
We are talking about a spring of yeah. water. What 40 years? I don't agree with It's not for it's 40 years and not even 40 years with the one day. Zach and Nick, how the Quran says that the sun sit in a spring of water? This is the question. Christian Pint, you are deaf and you are not me. I told you. No, it's please. 40 years and it is the proof. No. And I get you but then. No, no, no. Hmm. <laughs> please don't play like Zach and Nick. Make me laugh. Hmm. Are you laughing at Zach and Nike but, uh, or laughing at your prophet? No, but uh, hmm. uh, I will uh, contact about this uh, with merciful servant. Hmm. He will give you answer, inshallah. My friend, at this point. Okay, you don't don't tell me those names. Those yeah. names are kids. They don't count for me. Bring me your bring me bring me a scholar. Where is the wood? Where is your shakes? Where is the potatoes? The big potatoes. What are you giving give me? Getting me kids. Uh, all right come on all right take care well i you know this guy he was trying to call me like crazy like i i i go on skype i have like a thousand missed call from him and i thought he's going to tell me something important and look what here the sun the sun was sitting in the water at that time at that time yeah, okay this is the conclusion now i will call me again and you will say i told you it was for the earth and you're not a dream. It was 40 years, and Allah, he mentioned in the hadith, 40 years before he created me. Hmm. Crazy religion. We say a male, they say milk it. It's a male goat. Milk it. It's a male. They milk it. <laughs> Islam. <sighs> guys if you see my skype how oh, i'm going to answer all those people when i open my skype i find like a million people texting me and they think i think i think they think i'm going to read their text it's impossible these guys don't do that to me when you have something to say say it to him in the chat i can read it in Skype, I cannot, and especially how Skype is made, like blah, 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 blah. they appear suddenly in the screen and it takes forever. I mean, unbelievable. Don't do that. Let me log off of Skype. I mean, this Skype became like scary for me. You open it, you find like a, as of a gun machine open in your face. All the messages appear suddenly and people keep calling me. I am online. I am offline. It doesn't matter. I receive calls 24 hours, seven days a week. Let us log off. That's it. If you have something important to say to me, you can email me in Patreon, but don't email me there just to say, how are you? And I told you, it's for the youth. Okay. Uh, Hmm. <clears throat> anyone anyone any muslim have anything to say you can say it in the chat you know i'm not going to open skype anymore i mean for today We want Zach and Nayak to call us. That will be a good call. We will spend the first two hours he repeating it is 40 years. But you know the most the most amazing answers of Muslims, you, you want to see how does Islam make you smart? When when an Indian woman she asked Zach and Nayak, why in Islam there is no woman she is a prophet? Zach and Nayak now he is using all his capability of intelligence. And he said to her, uh, this is the they ask a question. And actually, your question is very valid. She said, why in Islam, there is no woman to the Prophet? And I have to agree with her. In Islam, there is no woman to the Prophet. And the reason for that, if a woman to become a Prophet, she have to do to do and do, and she have to build over. And if they build over, that will determine the reason. 
Mr. Bot, the conclusion thing. Translation. He agreed with the women that in Islam there is no woman, she is a prophet. Why? Because if she became a prophet, she have to bow down. And if she bow down, the Muslim will look at her ass. This is in the front of tens of thousands. And this is a smart answer of a smart donkey. And the Muslim, like their mouth is open, like, wow, brother. Like, wow, me. The reason, hey, women. The reason you are not qualified to be a prophet is your ass. If you send your resume to Allah, asking him to make you a prophet, he will look at your ass. He says you are over qualified. <laughs> Excuse me. Unbelievable how stupid this cult is. Please, please, when you send your resume to Allah, if you are a female, send an image or photocopy of your ass. Because Allah will look at your ass, and because of your ass, He will say you are the qualified. Hmm. Uh, Abdul Jannah saying, The truthful people will never hide their face behind a computer or laptop to speak something. Even in UN, we are debate face to face. My friend, uh, uh, you just said something very important. Truthful people don't hide their faces. So why Allah in the Quran, he says that Allah, he never speak unless he is from behind the curtain. You just admitted that your God, Allah, is not truthful. And this is why I say they have a low IQ when they try to answer me. So he could not debate me. He could not answer the disaster I am saying. But he uh, come to a conclusion, if you are truthful, you, you will show your face. <laughs> well, I will use your logic. If Allah is a truthful, then he will not wear a veil as the Quran says. Are you there? Allah is sitting now behind the computer, hiding his face. Do you see it? Okay, I'm going to use your logic. Jibreel, if you are a truthful, show me your face. Jibreel is behind the computer. Stupidity. They cannot answer me. They cannot debate me. This is the only thing we can say. Show us your face. Why you don't debate Sheikh who's equally okay? Hold on. I mean, Muslims, how, how, look, hold on. I, I have to make a study about how long, let me take a selfie. How long it take a Muslim to make a question? All right. Smile, uh, Jundallah, Junaid. Smile. I just took a selfie for you, brother. I told you, it's for the youth. Junaid was thinking about this question for 40 years, I guess. Look what Junaid he said. <clears throat> or Jund. Remember of it. Why don't you debate a sheikh who is equal as a prepared instead of debating Jahil? Jahil ignorant. <laughs> is that you? <laughs> is that you, the Jahil? Secondly, where is your sheikh? Let them call me. There is a sheikh, you remember the guy he used to call and he, then he asked his sheikh to call, call and debate me? We have the debate, go watch it and die laughing. He's a sheikh. The sheikh was shaky. So you are saying to me, all of you are Muslims, are a bunch of kids, and you are asking me to debate the sheikh, I'm waiting. Have you ever heard of me saying no to anyone? Here we go, I take even calls from everybody. Like this guy, uh, uh, Jones, whatever his name. Do I know him? No. Eh, you want to call me? Okay. He could be a sheikh. But all of you are the same. You think the sheikh, he can make it? Actually, debating someone who have knowledge in Islam is way easier from debating a donkey. 
because debate in a donkey he speak about the east he speak about the west anyway i think we cover a good part of the topic for today and uh, my videos are made for you guys you can use them in your, the way you like to to uh, to show people reference and proofs uh, islam is very stupid you know for me i don't even need to think about a topic or like if somebody said now we want to debate me okay we will go right, hold on who is a muslim sheikh is now listening to us he is willing to call me i will open my skype who is a muslim sheikh long beard is willing to call me right now and i will open my skype for you Anyone? Anyone? Maybe. Is going to happen. Anyone? Okay, we'll extend the timing. Maybe uh, one of them he will get the courage from Allah. What? Hold on, hold on. I just received Quran. The breed he just sent me something. I think he went to beat me. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Jabril, he just told me about that. He wanna debate me face to face. And he is saying, I told you, it's 40 years. <laughs> face to face. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> what a stupid oh boy. Time is up. I mean that's it. You have a few se one second left. That's it. So what we will do now? And you are asking me to debate Muslim. Where are the Muslims? Oh man. <sighs> what we can do, what we can do. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. I am the nightmare of Allah. But by the way, all the Muslims, they beat me and they expose me in their private videos. I mean, Christian Prince, lie number one, lie number two, lie number four. Why you don't call me, call him and show him the lies? No, I will, I will show him the lies here. <laughs> oh boy. And this is why 
a lot of Muslims are leaving Islam. I am very grateful for my Lord for providing me with all of you. For providing us with the internet so we can meet and we can talk, we can share. To meet people all the way at the end of this earth. Amazing. I'm really grateful. I'm grateful that Muslims are calling and leaving Islam. I'm grateful that many, many, many Muslims leave Islam every day because of my videos. I'm grateful that I have support of many people who love me, even though there's a lot of people who hate me. But the Lord, he says, because of me, they will discriminate you. They will persecute you. They will kill you. Time will come and they will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. I'm very grateful for the Lord. For he provide us with everything we need to demolish cults, expose them, and share the truth. And the truth will set you free. And he said, I am the truth. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the beginning. I am the end. I am the resurrection. I am the door. I am the truth. I pray that the truth will set all of us free. And the truth is one of his names. For he is the truth. Everything about him is the truth. His wisdom is the truth. His salvation, his resurrection, his creation, the Bible says that everything was created by him and for him. We are created for him, but to love us. Not because he needed slaves like Islam. Jesus, he came to free you from slavery. This is why when the Jews, they said to him, this woman, when she go to heaven, who is going to have her? He said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. Which means Jesus the Messiah will free you from your needs. While Allah, he is trying to make you addicted to sex and food and gold and silver in his heaven. The Messiah free you from every need to live a glory life with the Lord. You will be the same as angels. You will not need to sleep. You will not need to eat. You will not get sick. You will not need women. Women do not need men. You do not need anything. But you are happy. For the only one who can make you happy. In a way nobody can. No food can make you happy. This is temporarily. No sex can make you happy. This is temporarily. If God he gave us the joy to enjoy food for a few moments of tasting them. Can God make us a bigger joy? have nothing to do with sex and food yes he can for he is the almighty lord for he is holy the purpose of sex between man and women is, is to reproduce so what the point of the sex in heaven in islam if there is no reproduction simply because this is the heaven of the devil wine river of wine women with no panties and then he start exaggerating with his lies 70 years orgasm you go to Z to visit zakar naik first year zakar naik is having orgasm you come a year after he's having orgasm 10 years after he's having orgasm 20 years after he's having orgasm you knock at the door after 40 years Zakarnaik, it's 40 years. I told you. I told you 40 years, but I didn't tell you. 40 years about Muthad. But when it comes to orgasm, it's going to be 70 years. 70 years orgasm, you idiot. You have to be an officially crazy person to believe in such a garbage. 
70 years orgasm. I mean, make it 69. Like, come on, breathe. 70 years just for the orgasm. So the sex was how long? If the orgasm was 70 years. Hmm. True religion. Must be true. All right. We are blessed. No, the website use fake Quran. Fake Quran? The Quran I'm showing you on the screen is fake Quran. <laughs> All right, take care. Let your daddy speak to me. We have no time for kids. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you again for all of you. The Lord, the Messiah, is our Savior. And uh, remember, here we use certain language because we are speaking about filthy, dirty cult. It's called Islam. Otherwise, if we are Christians speaking only about what is right, we will not use this language. But as you see, this is the words of Muhammad. Endless penis, 70 years orgasm, crazy stuff. And my duty is to show you things as it is. I don't sugarcoat, I just coat. As it is. People who like it, like it. Who don't like it, I don't care. Because the purpose of education is to educate. Not to be politically correct. Say it as it is, so people they can see and hear the truth. Never say things which is not written there. Say it as it is. So people they can see, people can learn, people can get the idea and re, you know, learn the truth. If everybody sugarcoat what is written there, okay, are we learning about the sugar coating or we are learning about what is written there? So I say it as it is. And there's many people don't like it because I am very straightforward and maybe they, uh, they say he's tough, he's harsh. I am harsh. I am tough. I'm fighting the devil, my friend. I'm fighting the devil. Every second, because of the devil of Muhammad, there's thousands of people being slaughtered in Africa, in Nigeria, Burkina Faso, Mali, you name it. Syria, Iraq, Libya, Afghanistan, Pakistan, everywhere. In the name of this devil, blood is being shed every second. And you are talking about harsh and whatever propaganda you have. The truth has to be said, and here we deliver it. Thank you again for being here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my other channel. Remember, I will be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in a quality of life M27, so we can speak about different topics. We as a Christians, Muslims are welcome to everybody is welcome, but it's not going to be about Islam. That channel have nothing to do with the cult of Islam. So there we will be clean. It's like a place where we take a shower and we don't mention anything about this cult. So if you like to join us, feel free to join the, uh, the, 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 the account. Quality of Life M27, the admin posted the link already for you many times, and I uh, will be happy to have you there too. Thank you for being here, and I want to say thank you again for those who support us in every mean, in every way. I really appreciate you. Uh, I pray that the Lord, uh, He always provide us with uh, mental health, because this is very important. More important actually from health, because imagine if your body is fine, but your brain is sick, I mean, that's disaster. So mental health is very important. And the Lord wisdom is the best guidance for mental health. He is the supplier of mental health. He guide you. 
He said, from their fruits you shall know them, not from their names. You can call yourself Christian Prince, you can call yourself a Christian, you can call yourself Muhammad, you can call yourself even the Messiah if you want. But we will know you from your fruits. And the fruits, the good fruits, coming from someone, his brain is not infected, is not corrupted, is not defeated by Satan. Their fruit, my friend, the fruit. One sentence of the Messiah is enough to silence all the books. From their fruits you shall know them. And this is, can be a golden, I mean priceless guideline for you. Even if about you going to get married. How you know if this person is man or this woman is good for you? Look at their fruits. You want to do business with somebody. How you want to know if they are good for you? Look at their fruits. How you want to know if this person is a good person? Look what he do with his mother, his family, his sister. If he is good to them, that is a good fruit. If he cannot be good to his mother and his, mo his, his father, how he can be good to you? From their fruits, my friend. This is how we know the tree. A tree who do not give good fruits will be cut off and thrown into the hellfire. That is the words of my Lord. And with his wisdom, we finish for today. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.